Hello and welcome to part two in our physics-based interaction series. In this episode, we're going to go over how to use a physics-based handle to pick up objects in the room and throw them around the room using physics. So let's check this out. So last time we got the interaction sort of look at functions working, we're now going to look at the interactions interact with functions and get them to grab something like this box. So we're going to go to our player character. And in here we're going to have two components. The first component is going to be the physics handle. On that. And the other one is going to be a simple scene component. And this scene component I'm going to call grab handle. Now it's important that you make this a child of the camera, otherwise it won't follow the camera when you move it up and down. So put that on there and that's all good to go. So now onto coding this thing. So on the event graph here, we're going to make the left mouse button do the work here. So left mouse button. And on pressed here, we're going to tell him to look at the uh, current look at component and see what it's doing. So we're going to drag out the look at component, do get and convert that to validated get. I'm going to send to pressed. And once we've done that, we then want to take it to be interact with. Okay. So the interactor will be ourself. And the hit component is going to come from the look at component here. So the hit component going into the look at component, sorry, going into the target here isn't correct. What we want to do is get the owner of this component so that it needs an actor. So we get owner. That would simply just return you who's, who's in charge of that component. Okay. And we'll get a message back from the interact with saying whether or not they can be grabbed. Plug that in. Okay. And we then want to check whether or not we're holding anything. So we're going to make a new function here called is holding object. And is holding object is going to be a very simple function. Uh, hold on. There you go. Um, and what it's going to do, we're going to take the physics handle out. And then from there, we're going to get the grabbed component and check if it's valid or not. So it is valid. And we're going to output this red pin. So return node. Add the Boolean pin to the return node. There you go. Outcome do as true or false. Go to the event graph and we're going to drag this out. So drag out this holding object. And I'm going to make this a pure cast. So I'm going to take pure cast pure function and we're gonna put this into another branch so now we know whether or not we're holding something what to do so uh, if it's true I want it to and I'm holding something I want to basically drop what I'm holding so I'm going to take the handle and then from there we'll do release component under true and then going to Put this also on this branch here, the one where we can't grab, we're going to put it there too. So I'm just going to copy this and put it there. Okay, and next we've got the, the release key. So pretty simply, all we're going to do is drag out the is holding object and uh, branch this if we're holding an object we want to tell it to do the release okay so now we need to make the grab function and that will go here at the end on false so make a new function called grab 
and the grab function is essentially what it's going to do is do another line trace out and the reason why we do another line trace out is because now we want to get a fine detail about what it is we're meant to be looking at so we're going to have the basically the same setup as we have on the interact trace so i'm just going to copy all of this grab and we're going to put this into end and this into start now the range here we need to make a variable again on our grab do that here call ranged and all that to bring that back Oop, okay we'll just drag it out and there we go so that's our line trace done we then want to take the out hit and break it and then we are going to drag from our physics handle and search for the node grab component at location and rotation it's important that you get both location and rotation so this will go into here and the component we're looking for here grab, grab component is going to be the look at component so who we are looking at all that's left to do on here is to set up the location and rotation of these things so when we turn it to grab component and location with rotation we're looking at a particular location where we clicked so i'm going to drag the location to there and the rotation we're going to take from the normal and do make what from x and it'll take the normal and rotate it around to give you a rotation as if x was forwards okay so all that's left now for me to do is drag out the grab handle and tell it to set its own location and rotation. And yeah, the new location is going to be location here. And the new rotation is going to come from the make what from X. Okay. And that's it hit compile and save that then we go back to our event graph and drag the grabbed onto the faucet it in 500 at range there i think that's it so that will grab him uh, we then want to update their location and rotation uh, over time so that would be where the tick comes in so first of all we need to know whether or not we're holding an object so we're going to drag out our is holding and put that into a branch and all we're going to do is drag out the physics handle and set the new location and rotation to be the same as the grab handle we get transform and get while transform there is and we're going to split this and put in the y oops and the z so all that's left to do to make it move is to tell this thing that it can be grabbed so you can go to the object settings for this and look at the um interact with function and all it is something to do is tick the can grab and now pick up the cube and fling it around and obviously i can hover over it see that's the one selected so the grab handle is probably the most useful way of doing this um it's simply because you're got a component that you can set a relative location to quite easily and because it's relative and it's staying with you that for the thing you've grabbed will also stay with you because it's following that so it's a good way of doing it and i recommend using something like a scene component for a grab handle so that brings us to the end of part two in the next part we're going to start work on our furniture with the wardrobe setting up the doors and the clothing on a rail to be slid around 
You can watch that next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley or become a YouTube member as well. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.